Buena Vatos. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Beautiful riding season this year. Everything else hasn't been too good, but uh, welcome to California. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for liking the video. Let's get into the, the topic of today's ride. Um, you know, staying professional at a workplace. Now, every repair shop, every dealership has their own rules, but there's there's been maybe three rules, you know, across all uh, my experience as a service writer working at different repair shops and dealerships. There's been three common rules at um, at every location, and even with employers that are not uh, repair shops or anything. I'm pretty sure this this these same rules kind of applies to every every uh, every location or every employment facility uh, these kind of these three rules of you know they, they're they're I believe they're common in, in every workplace so uh, number one at the at the repair shops is uh, safety of course safety 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 you're supposed to have the uniform you're supposed to have the the, 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 the right uh, gear, uh, you know, repair shop, there's oil, there's lubes, there's, you know, slippery surfaces. We're talking about all kinds of stuff. Vehicles being on lifts, you know, stuff that you don't see in your point of view. You're walking and you might run into something. There's, uh, you know, compressors. There's, you know, there's, there's all kinds of different things, especially now with the, the high voltage vehicles. There's also electrical uh, things you have to keep in mind now. So the safety is number one above above all. It's just safety, and like I mentioned, there's you know there's just there's just a lot of hazards at the, at the repair shop. Number two rule is cleanliness. Absolutely, staying clean. That kind of falls with safety, but mainly for customers' uh, vehicles. You do not you do not want to grease stain someone's uh, upholstery, someone's seat, someone's, you know, steering wheel. We have to stay clean uh, at all times. We have to be professional. That's why in my other video, I, I was saying, you know what, it's not uh, acceptable, mainly because the tools and the equipment that, uh, that these repair shops give out to mechanics. You know what, I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, number two, you know, right right after safety is, you know, you have to stay clean, you have to respect customers' vehicles. This is number one bullshit. So then that's that's the first two. Uh, safety, for sure, 100%. You gotta be safe, you gotta, you know, come home to your family, you gotta make sure that you're there the next day. The repair shop's not gonna want someone to accidentally hurt themselves and then be out for two weeks and now the shop short one employee and then the family's not you know it's 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 a it's a hassle for everybody so safety's number one number two is just making sure that the customers vehicles are respected they get them back the same way that they dropped them off if not better usually at a dealership they're always returned in a better condition so absolutely no uh, no excuse for uh, a dirty vehicle returned especially with the supplies, car seats, uh, plastics, we're talking about paper floor mats, um, talking about uh, you know solvents, uh, brake spray, uh, cleaner, all, you know all kinds of different things that the mechanics have that they could easily get a hold of in the parts department. Uh, so the supply room if, if it's uh, you know if it's a repair shop then it, it, it'd be in the supply room. And number three rule after safety and cleanliness is language. Yes, that's uh, that's a big rule at repair shops and at dealerships, and that's mainly because you're around guys all the time. So you you do lose a filter of you know saying inappropriate uh, things. You do lose a, a filter of. Uh, of saying things that uh, you know when women aren't around and we're talking about a workplace that's dominated by, by men I think out of all the years I've, I've been at a service shop I've probably seen one lady 
other than that it's just it's mainly men and we lose a filter when we're around guys all day especially uh, you know 40 50 hours a week so you do uh, you do lose a filter of you know saying you know just saying things that are just not appropriate for for the public you know being out and about I mean it's it's stuff that we probably wouldn't say when we're hanging out at a bar but when we're at the shop it's just we all kind of become sailors you know it's uh it's funny but yeah it's true so the, you know those those are the three rules and just like I mentioned on uh, on on my other video with a uh, million dollar uh, bogan and Harley Davidson I I mean just like anything if if it's your employees if it's you know if you ran Harley Davidson you'd be upset hearing the things that that some of these employees were saying that's mainly because they're wearing the uniform they're on the clock and they're representing the brand so I I, I can understand the how Danny was upset because of his you know video telling you know Harley Davidson to grow some some balls and stuff like that but it's just different it's completely different yeah you know this is a million dollar industry I don't know maybe a billion dollar industry and every employee is representing the brand the manufacturer you can't uh, you can't let employees uh, run run wild and you know say stuff like that so you just kind of you just kind of have to look at the bigger picture because it's just not about censoring uh, employees it's not about you know there's just there's a time and a place for everything and unfortunately some of the stuff they were saying in those videos that that just wasn't the time or the place because like I mentioned with everything you're on the clock and you're wearing the uniform so you just have to uh, you just you just have to know what you're uploading and if you have to you know watch out for your fellow friends or anything or something you know the thing is with me, uh, if there's a camera around, I'm gonna carry myself like like if there's a customer around, and, and, and that's that's a that's a, that's a big rule right there about the you know language. Uh, if there's a camera around, you you treat that camera like like if it's a customer, and if you're uh, the YouTuber, the influencer, the content creator, and you're uh, over there and you're you know hanging out hanging out with your friends and you hear them. You hear them say things that probably might upset a few people then you probably just edit some of that stuff out or use uh, bleeps use edit something you know watch out for your for your friends if you're the the content creator I mean you guys get what I'm saying right if you're uploading content and a friend of yours says something that you're like oh I don't know if uh, if this might uh, might be okay you edit it out don't leave it in there look out for them look out for yourself everybody's uh you know everybody's safe and and we don't want to see uh things kind of like what happened uh where they're not uh they're, they're they're not allowed to film anymore on on the property it's unfortunate i mean a lot of the content that i saw i liked it even you know even the jokes and you know all the other stuff aside i still like the the videos i like his his stuff but just those are the big three rules uh you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think and i know it's probably not the popular opinion to be siding with the big corporate uh uh company but there's just a time and a place for everything guys you guys stay out there stay safe I uh, don't believe everything you read. Later.